I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the present time if you're dealing with someone how they see you how you see them and then we'll talk about why it's happening also keep in mind that the rows can be switched so it could go either way you see them could be they see you so keep that in mind so Taurus what I'm getting for the overall energy is that there's some situation whereas you feel justified like you have the right to do so justice has been served finally this is the thing to do yeah I'm just picking up on that and um, like I said the roles can be switched so if this is not you then it's the person that you're dealing with and why don't we get why don't we take a look and see where this is coming from and let's get started so for the present time we got the seven of swords and the six of cups now the seven of swords uh, if you see this sneaky looking man that card at the top of the word present that's the seven of swords you see how he looks really sneaky and like he's behaving badly well that can point to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions it sometimes means prying into someone's life where you really don't belong and if you sense that someone is spying on you then you're probably right and if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern you just might want to resist the impulse because we know everyone deserves privacy so that's the seven of swords and it's with the six of cups now the six of cups it's a card about nostalgia looking back on how things used to be it can but not always be connected with children or childhood so it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time but if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah so six of cups and seven of swords for the present time well coming up towards the end of June there's some happy memories here with the six of cups um, also six of cups is about it's a possibility that there could be a reappearance of a long lost love yeah that six of cups can mean a return of an ex someone from the past coming back but we'll have to take a look at the rest of the reading and see if that might be the case but it's also about happy memories familiarity and uh, it's with the seven of swords so you could be watching someone are you watching someone Taurus are you stalking someone um, are you using tactics strategy manipulation if this is not you then someone has got their eyes on you with this seven of swords here someone's keeping close tabs they could be driving past your house see if the lights are on someone you know is attracted to you they want to find out what you're doing all the time someone is just always on your Facebook page looking at your good looking pictures but it's um, also going with your instincts so if you feel and sense that there's some sneakiness going on then it probably is so like I said this could be you or the person you're dealing with and it could be someone from the past because we got the six of cups but let's get some more clarity on these two cards 
once we take a look at the rest of the reading and that will tell us more so we'll hold off on those two cards for now and let's move right on over to how your person's look how your person sees you okay so your person they see you as the lovers and the moon card so lovers card is associated with the astrological sign of gemini the twins it's possible that when this card appears you're feeling you're feeling really ambivalent and you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart some people say there are only two modes that any of us operate under at any time and that's either fear or love so when you can it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card because this is a time that um, love is brought to you in big capital bold letters to the center stage of your life yeah that's what this lover's card is and this is how your person sees you they see you as um, a coming together a union um, they could see you as a, a deep partnership, a deep love. It's the strength of two. It's a, it's a deep union. So they see you like the lover's card. The lover's card is falling in love. So they could feel that you're falling in love with them. Or it could be them with you, but... I'm picking up that's how they see you falling in love with them or having a deep feelings emotions for them you could feel like this is your that they're your twin flame now they also see you like the moon card the moon card is about deception uh, feels like the person is wearing a mask or either they're not saying how they really feel Moon card. Uh, you could be in a psychic, intuitive phase more than usually. So it's important to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone or you or if your gut is telling you if your gut is telling you one thing and you feel like you can't trust a person or a situation then you probably cannot so it's saying go with your gut go with your gut instincts and if you're waiting on an answer from someone it may take longer than you would like for it to so with the moon card here it's about staying patient also so this is the other way they see you they feel like you don't really say how you feel so you come across as wearing a mask maybe you're a quiet type yeah mysterious so they don't feel like they really they don't feel like they really know you but they see you as a coming together they see you as a union it's a deep love here with the lover's card. The lover's card is beautiful. Like I said, it's got that twin flame energy. Uh, it's about falling in love. So that's how they see you. Yeah. They don't quite get you though. Or they just... There's something about you that they just... It feels like you're wearing a mask, Taurus. I don't know if you're secretive, you have a problem um, opening up, so they think you're, you're just mysterious, and it comes across as, like I said, deceptive, but it looks like there's love, there's love here. So, let's take a look at how you see them. Now, you see them like the two of pentacles 
and you also see them like justice. So the two of pinnacles, two main issues in front in your mind. So you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Because multitasking is not your friend. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities, your financial situation. It may need to be more balanced because when you hear the word pinnacles in, in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance. So be sure you're paying attention there. So you see them as possibly having trouble finding time and energy for you, for this connection. Yep. And it's because they're back and forth. You see how he's juggling those two pinnacles? Several tasks. They do too much and they need to pull back from quite so many things. Um, this two of pinnacles could be a juggler, a two-timer. I hate to say it, but... Yeah, it's known as a two-timer also. Now, that's how you see them. And you also see them like justice. Justice, this person thinks they have the right to do so. Okay, they have the right to juggle. They have the right to be a two-timer. They think it's okay. They think that's how it should be. Because justice, um, on the other hand, justice talks about the ideal of karma and law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. And so don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And on the other hand, if you're directly involved in a court case and you get justice in a reading, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So, that's how you see a person. They think they have the right to multitask, even though it causes them to have trouble finding time for this connection. They think they're, they're, they're justified in being a two, as being a two-timer if that's what they are. So a pinnacles they juggle. Could be juggling more than just you, having someone else. But it's considered a two-timer, so... Or maybe they just do a lot of juggling with something else other than someone else. Okay, so let's take a look at why it's happening. Now, we got the Six of Swords, and it's paired with the Ten of Swords. So the Six of Swords is about um, travel. Yeah, it's about travel of any sort. It also is an indicator of metaphorical movement. It's about a change in where you are inwardly. Usually it's a change for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking about where you want to be. It's about resolution. There's this reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery is helpful. And this does not have to cost money. Sorry if I uh, sound like I breathe hard. But I have really bad allergies. So I'm trying to be conscious of it so that I don't annoy some people. Okay, so anyway, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. 
Uh, someone, you or your person, wants to move in calmer waters. That's a perfect example of the Six of Swords. Problems that you guys had, they're, they're solved. They're being solved. There's recovery here. Okay, so that's one of the reasons. And the other reason is the Ten of Swords. You see how this man is face down? Looks like it's snowing outside. And he's got all these swords stabbed in his back. So it's a sign to be careful where you put your trust. Because when the ten comes up in a as re, in a rela when a ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, it's a pretty clear answer of no. No, you cannot trust it. But you have to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you, so trust yourself and trust the universe. So, Ten of Swords is the other reasons why it's happen happening. Someone feels um, defeated here, like there's failure, something is ruined. Um, feeling something's not quite right so things are at a painful rock ending bottom painful ending or could be rock bottom that's what he looks like doesn't he rock bottom so that's the other reason why it's happening so let's recap this reading so that I can give you the complete picture of what's going on here so basically, towards your person, they see you as uh, this lover's card. There is a uh, deep love there. Okay. They could see you feeling this way about them. Or it could go up the other way. Or it's just, it feels good, this connection. It feels like a great union, a great partnership. Uh, maybe they feel, you could feel like this is your twin flame or they could be feeling this about you. But like I said, there's, they feel like you, you don't really open up or you don't say how you really feel. And they just take it as you being deceptive. Okay, so it looks like um, your person... Um, they also um, could be someone from your past here. Uh, but I'm picking up that... Uh, it's funny because I'm getting two storylines. You could be someone that um, they're very comfortable with. very f That you feel really familiar. But I'm picking up you feel your person is um, someone you feel really comfortable with. With the Six of Cups here. And you feel like this person could be someone from a past lifetime. That's just how comfortable you are with them. Feels like you've known them before. And, um, but it looks like they do some juggling. So you might know that they already have someone. So they kind of go back and forth. Yeah, they kind of go back between you and then someone else. Maybe this person is married. There's a lot of that going on. So they find it difficult to have, um, to give you the time and energy that you, you would like. Because they, two time. And they feel they have the right to do so for some reason. It's, I'm picking up it's because, um, they, sometimes they can't really, they can't really get, get a grip on your thoughts. Or they not really understanding you sometimes so it looks like they take it take matters into their own hand and then they they might stalk you and they might they might watch you a lot and you probably don't when you probably are least expecting it or when you don't know they're trying to figure you out because you come across as like I said Maybe mysterious or secretive with this moon card here. Moon card is about deception. So 
They're trying to find out if they're being deceived. So they do a lot of watching you. They probably stalk you. Maybe they check your phone when they think you're not looking. Uh, yeah, whenever you think they're gone, they're probably driving past your house. You know what stalkers and spiders do. It's always something behind your back. Yeah, and if you feel that this is going on, then it probably is. Um, but it looks like you, you, you like this person. They feel familiar, and then there's this lover's card here. Um, it looks like... Um, so there's some trust issues. There's some trust issues with this Ten of Swords here. And it looks like um, your person, they might just want to move into calmer waters with you until they can figure out more about you. Yeah, they just want peace. Move into just a comfortable place with you. Uh, they don't want any arguments or disagreements, but they do watch you because you, like I said, you come across as probably mysterious. Like I said, I don't know if you're a quiet person. A lot of quiet people come across that way. Quiet people come across as secretive. <laughs> I know, I used to be real quiet and shy and everyone thought I was secretive, but I wasn't. I was... I used to be just a quiet person. Just didn't talk much. And people thought I was like the moon card. Yep. It's just, just that I didn't talk a lot and people thought I was mysterious. <laughs> so, so this person's trying to figure you out. So there's a love here. I think they got deep feelings for you. And um, you feel comfortable with this person, but it looks like you, you're not just you're not opening up to them yet. So they just watch you. They keep their eyes on you. They keep tabs on you to see where you're coming from, because you're not saying much, or you're not saying what they need to hear. And then they continue to uh, see someone else until you guys move. Until you guys figure out what you're going to do until they see that you can open up. So for now, you two just move into calmer waters and there's some trust issues because they don't really know where you're coming from. So they watch you. They stalk you. And then you, you, you I'm sure you're not crazy about the two timing and you probably know they got someone else. So for now, it's kind of like a friend zone thing I'm picking up with a lot of love yeah until you two can figure out um, you know work things out here yeah so for now it sounds like it could be friends with benefits yeah you know they got someone else and then they they're unsure about you and for now you guys just kinda like staying in calm waters nothing's blowing up there's no fighting, but there's some trust issues. Yeah, because they can't really, they don't know where you're coming from. And then you know they got someone else. So, Taurus, that's your reading for late June. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll, you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below of uh, personal readings if you want to try one of those. So, Taurus, I want to say thank you so very much for watching and for all my subscribers. You guys have been really great to me. I appreciate you. Please come back and check out the next Taurus reading. That will be in about another four or five days. If this did not resonate with you, then 
I'm sure the next one will. So please come back. I hope that June is a beautiful month for you. And I hope that all is well. Stay safe and be strong. So I hope to see you at the next reading. And have a great day.